Well, first I had to keep walking because of the mosquitoes, but now it's actually starting to sprinkle on me, which is kind of refreshing. I often look at life like it's a jigsaw puzzle. And each day I take the experiences of that day and I put them down on the board like individual pieces. And whatever God speaks to me about that day, and even what other believers share with me that God spoke to them about, I put those down on the board to see what picture comes together. Lately, I've been connecting some amazing revelations from God's Word to see how God is personally showing me what He's doing in my life. There's all kinds of pieces of, of jigsaw puzzle on the board, but here's the ones God's been giving me lately. Back in John 6, Jesus has people who've been following him first because of what they saw him do for others. Then they experience something he did for them and they're following him, believing he's the Messiah that God promised. Only problem is he's telling them things that don't jive with what they expected. And what does that do? Well, it, it causes them to grumble about what they're hearing. And what, what we're told at that time is, when many of his disciples heard it, they said, this is a hard saying, who can listen to it? So what was the hard saying? The hard saying was Jesus saying that the manna, the, the bread that God gave the people during the time of Moses, that was not the bread that came from heaven, even though it came from God. And what he was saying is that he himself is the bread that came from heaven, the bread of life given directly from God. They grumbled because that didn't make sense. So we look at what happens and how does Jesus handle it? And what he says to them is, it is the spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. What he's telling them is, the things he's telling them, even though it's causing them to feel like it's a hard saying, it is still coming from the Holy Spirit and it is life to them if they would receive it. He's also telling them the flesh, which is our independent life, that flesh cannot help God one little bit. In other words, Whatever we've learned in our flesh, in our natural thinking, is no help to God helping us to see the bread of life. That comes from the Spirit. So, because of this, all these people who had seen him do miracles to bless others, and then they had experienced a miracle from him, they turn away from him simply because what he's saying doesn't jive with what they want him to say. And so, I realize God was addressing things where it feels to me like he's telling me something hard from his word. And he's saying, Monty, put it on the puzzle piece. Put that puzzle piece on the board. It's part of the picture. And your flesh will not understand it. Your flesh doesn't have to understand it. My spirit will teach it to you. And so I received that. And then he took me to the book of Job, where we have a man who just found out that he'd lost his, his wealth. He'd lost crop, or he'd, he'd lost herds and flocks of animals and servants. And then the last news he got was that all his children were killed when their house collapsed on them. How would you respond to losing that much? Here is how Job responded. Then Job arose and tore his robe and shaved his head and fell on the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin or charge God with wrong. Isn't that amazing? Job just lost all his wealth, he just lost all his children, and his view of it is, God gives and he takes away. I didn't bring anything into the world, and nothing in this world am I going to take with me. So, what do we do? We look at the puzzle pieces, and this last one is included. We don't 
tell God he's unfair. We don't reject him because he took worldly things away from us. What we do is we put it on the board and we look at the picture with that now included and we include all the word of God, all the promises of God, and we worship God even while he takes things and people and ministries and jobs and family away from us. He is the Lord. What I'm encouraging you is, look at life like it's a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle. And God has the whole thing figured out. He's got the picture on the box, we don't. But if we will trust him and every piece he puts in our lives, we put it in the picture. We look at it in the context of everything. And we say, God, you are worthy of praise. Whether you give me people or you take them away, you are worthy of praise. Whether you give me finances or delete my bank account, you are worthy of praise. Whether we're in a democratic country or one that is quickly turning communist, the Lord be praised. You give and you take away. And I'm just telling you, because I allow the whole counsel of God to be in the picture, I can see what Job was saying. Blessed be the name of the Lord.